welcome to The Body Shop Physical Therapy. I'm Dr. Katherine Price, I'm a physical therapist, and in this video, I'm gonna go over balance training. Before I begin, I'm gonna speak a word of life from Romans 8, 38 through 39. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all of creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. So balance training is really important to help us be safe in our daily function so that we do not fall. As we do age, we tend to lose our balance and unknowingly lose our balance. And one of the rationales for that is that in our uh, 60s, we will have the nerves start to die away from the muscle if we don't intentionally strengthen. So being strong is important for balance. That's the motor side. On the sensory side, there's three things that contribute to balance. And that's going to be the proprioception that is found in the ligaments, tendons, and the joint capsule. And those are sensory nerve endings that are specialized in sending information about where you are in space. And that helps us keep our steadiness on our feet. Then we have the vestibular system, which is in the inner ear, and that helps us orient ourselves against gravity. So it lets us know where we are gravitationally. And then we use our vision to keep ourselves um, upright against the horizontal. So our vision is really important. If you notice when you get up in the middle of the night and you're walking in the dark, you may not have as much steadiness because you're relying on your vestibular system and your uh, perception to give you information on where you are. So once you have your vision, you have another element of balance. So we want to make sure that our vision is good, that we've got a vestibular system that is giving us feedback that's accurate and um, responds to uh, what we're sensing as well as the proprioception. So if you have a ligament tear or if you've got joint dysfunction or you've got problems in these areas, it is helpful to retrain the sensory system to just help with the balance. So I will go over ways in the beginning, um, tools to use to help uh, retrain your balance in a safe way. So safety is huge. You wanna make sure that you have a safe space in your home where it will not compromise your being at risk of falling. And again, the motor side is the strength. If you're not strong, that is a good place to start. So please, Consult your medical doctor or physical therapist if you find that you feel like you have some weakness in areas that you want to work on, and they will help you to strengthen those areas um, as well. But the sensory component, I'm going to go over the tools and the ways that I start with retraining balance in these areas. So the first thing is you want to find a corner in your home. That's going to be the safest place for you to work on these. And to start with, we're just gonna do a narrow base of support. So if I go into my corner, I'm gonna start with my feet together, and then I'm just gonna bring my arms down, and I'm gonna keep my eyes open and hold myself steady with my feet together. So first position, I've got my feet together, I've got my eyes open, and I'm just keeping my body oriented with a narrow, a smaller base of support. Once I feel that I am steady in that position, I will close my eyes. And then what I'm doing is taking out the vision and I'm relying on my proprioception in my ankles and feet to tell me where I am. So you'll feel your body trying to adjust once you remove the vision. So that is the next stage is going to be to close my eyes. So I've got my feet together. I'm then gonna close my eyes with my feet together. And the whole time that I'll do this, I want to be facing the corner so that I can reach and grab the wall for safety and balance. So I will go through a stage and sets of those, however much to retrain and feel that I am gaining um, progression in steadiness in those areas. Once I have accomplished that with standing feet together, eyes open, eyes closed, I'm then going to grab a pillow and I'll place it again in the corner. I'll step on the pillow, feet are together, eyes are open, arms are down, find my balance, 
and then I will close my eyes. When I close my eyes, I will feel my ankles working even more. So what I'm doing is I am taking out the proprioception and I'm challenging my vestibular system when I am in, on an unsteady surface. So feet together, eyes open. I'm looking to um, retrain my balance using my vision, but I'm using also my other sensory. When I close my eyes and I'm on an unsteady surface, I'm gonna rely on my vestibular system to tell me where I am gravitationally, and that's gonna to help to retrain that sensory component. After I have done that, I am then gonna go into tandem stance. Tandem stance is going to be one foot right in front of the other, and I'm gonna to try to equalize my weight. You'll find that the back leg usually takes most of the weight, but once I find my balance, I'm gonna let go and I'm gonna hold tandem stance. So one foot in front of the other. Again, I'll be facing the wall with one foot in front of the other for safety so that if I were to lose my balance either way, I can touch the wall and gain balance. So once you've accomplished the tandem stance, one foot in front of the other, and you feel like you're really comfortable with your eyes open, you can challenge yourself by closing your eyes. And that is um, going to challenge the hips. So this is gonna be a hip strategy. So I'm finding my balance, eyes open. I'll close my eyes. And I'm focusing on trying to stay steady. So that's retraining that sensory. Then you also want to switch legs and alternate for each foot forward. So that's my tandem stance, eyes open, eyes closed. It, you really want your balance to progress before you be, try to attempt eyes closed on that um, exercise. The next thing, the progression will be a single leg stance, standing on one leg. So I'm gonna stand on one leg, stable surface, eyes open, and I'm just gonna hold my balance there. Again, I'll be facing the corner, and then once I feel like I've gotten steady with that, I'll close my eyes and further challenge the balance. Then I'll switch legs and I'm gonna work on the other leg. I'm gonna hold there. Once I feel I've got my balance, I'm gonna challenge it with eyes closed. And if that becomes to be easy and you've got your steadiness with that, you can then progress to standing on a pillow on single leg stance. So that's a, a higher progression. So the beginning of balance training that I use is gonna be a stable surface, feet together, eyes open, eyes closed. Then I'm gonna to go to an uneven surface using a pillow. So I'm going to our unsteady surface and I'm gonna do eyes, feet together, eyes open, eyes closed. Then I will go into tandem stance, one foot in front of the other, keeping eyes open and then progress to eyes closed, but that is quite advanced. Then I'm gonna go into single leg stance, and do that on both sides. Those are ways that and exercises that are helpful to begin to train those sensory components to help with balance and can be helpful to um, address and help reduce false risk. So that is just an example of some routine exercises I will go through to help with the basics in getting balance and also assessing to see where a person is and then you can progress and you can start to do more dynamic work and challenge and work all sorts of um, exercises to further um, balance training. So I hope this is of help and have a blessed day. Thank you.